Having a writing mentor can help you learn a lot of the nuances about writing and publishing while in grad school. But how do you find a mentor? And what makes someone a good match for you? In today's video, you're going to learn how to do just that. Hi, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com, and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia to make your best impact. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you get new notifications as I put out new videos every week. So today we're going to be talking about how to identify mentors for academic writing in grad school to further your growth. And this is something that it's worth making the time for because Having a good mentor who can work with you one-on-one -on -one is really going to make a huge impact. It's going to help you learn some more secrets um, and tips about publishing in academia, but they're also going to be somebody that's, that's going to get to know your writing, know your strengths, know your weaknesses, and be able to help refine your abilities so that you become a really strong writer. So when you're thinking about how to identify a mentor for academic writing, let's think first about what is a mentor? What do we mean by that term? So a mentor... There's lots of different ways, of course, you can um, define it, but I think about it as someone who's got the knowledge and experience to help you succeed. So when you're thinking about mentors to support your academic writing in grad school, you're not going to be going to fellow doctoral students. Or if you're an assistant professor, you're probably not going to go to uh, other assistant professors, right? You're going to go to somebody that's got more experience, more knowledge, a lot of success, has even worked with people around writing before, ideally, right? Because that's what you want to draw on. You want someone that knows things that you don't. And typically, your peers, especially when you're first starting out, kind of in the same boat as you, and they they might know little little things here and there that they pick up, but they're they don't really have like, the sustained knowledge and experience to really help you. So. You really want to think, you know, during your time in grad school, who is a professor in your program? It could be your advisor. It doesn't have to be that um, can really help further your growth, growth around academic writing. So when we think about this, how do you identify a good mentor? I've identified five things that I think are really important to consider. They're not the only five things in the world, of course. But I think this will get you off to a great start. So the first is um, what is the reputation of the person that maybe you're thinking about, right? Do they have a good reputation for um, working with graduate students around academic writing? Do they have um, a good reputation for giving excellent feedback? Do they have a track record around helping, um, you know, it could be helping grad students um, write for publication, but it could also be helping them write grants or, you know, get awards, anything that requires some kind of writing in an academic context. What's their reputation around that? The other thing is, do they have time for you? Because it's not that they need to devote all the time in the world for you, but is this somebody who can meet with you, let's say once a month, right? Or, you know, once every couple of weeks? Um, you know, is this somebody that's gonna, if you have a question and you need to shoot them an email, are they gonna respond to you in a timely manner? Or are you never gonna hear from them unless you go bang on their door, right? You want someone who has a strong reputation, but also has time to work with you. And in addition to that, um, the third tip I, I recommend is finding someone who's gonna push you, okay? So you want somebody that understands who you are as a writer, and then knows how to take you up to the next level, how to give you the feedback that you need to make your writing better. OK, and number three really leads me into number four. They kind of go together. Um, my advice for finding a good mentor, number four, would be find someone who's going to be honest with you. All right. You don't need somebody that's going to sit around and praise you and tell you how fantastic you are. OK, that's not going to make you a better writer, because honestly, no matter how smart you are, no matter how good of a writer you are, when we all enter grad school and we're starting our careers, we all have a lot of room to grow and a lot of things to learn, okay? So set your ego aside, find someone. I don't mean that it has to be somebody that's gonna be mean to you, but somebody that's gonna be very honest, very critical, help you understand what your weaknesses are, but then push you and help you figure out how to get past those weaknesses, make them into strengths, make them better, okay? And then finally, um, my fifth tip for how to identify a mentor for academic writing in grad school would be, is this somebody who's going to listen to your writing goals and then help you work towards them? Now, you don't know everything about writing, so hopefully your mentor will have some ideas about things you can work on. But for example, if your goal as a writer is, you know, in grad school is to get a piece published um, or just to get a piece out for review to experience a review process, 
does your mentor listen to you and help move you towards that goal? Because that's what you want. You want to be able to go into your mentor and say things like, look, I'm really bad at writing introductions. I don't know how to do it. I want to get better. I need you to help me. And know that your mentor is going to take that seriously and work with you to help you get better at writing introductions or whatever it is that is important to you. All right. So those are my five tips for how to identify mentors for academic writing in grad school in ways that are going to further your growth. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all of my videos. And while you're at it, let me know in the comments if this helped you or if you have any questions at all about how to move forward with your academic journey.